To demonstrate the general features of the virtual microscope software, I'm going to download the water beetle sample. Once the download is complete, I'm going to click on the icon that shows up in the top half of the window. Once I've loaded the sample, I may be interested in learning about what I'm looking at. By selecting Specimen Information from the Help menu, I get a list of relevant details as well as the description that was included on the website. Below is a description of the instrument that was used to collect the images. I can navigate by clicking and holding above, below, to the left, or to the right of the center of the image. To change the magnification, I can select a specific one from the drop-down menu, increment it with the buttons, or I can use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in or zoom out. I can adjust the focus by dragging the focus slider. I can also use the incremental buttons, or I can drag to the left and right while holding down the right mouse button. If I click somewhere in the Navigator thumbnail, it's going to quickly jump my field of view to that point. This can be especially useful at high magnification because it saves you the time of having to scroll slowly across the entire sample. Here I may want to try and bring out specific details by adjusting the brightness and contrast. If I want to make a measurement, I can drag the measurement tool from the top left corner. Now I can adjust the ends by clicking and dragging them. When I mouse over you see the background changes to make it easier to read. I can also have more than one measurement at a time. When I'm done with them, I can click on it and then hit the delete key. Or I can right click on it and select delete distance measure. When I'm all done viewing this sample, I can simply click the unload button in the bottom right. 